Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of 100 divided by 10 minus square root of 99. So let's provide a solution from here. Now we have the square root of 100 divided by 10 minus square root of 99. So the first step from here is to introduce a conjugate which is actually equal to 10 plus square root of 99. So let's multiply this conjugate also with the numerator we have 10 plus square root of 99. Now this means that here we have the square root of in the numerator we have 100 into the parenthesis this is 10 plus square root of 99. Now divided by, in the denominator here, 10 minus square root of 99, this is in the form of a minus b, multiplied by a plus b, which we can express as a squared minus b squared. Now, applying this, the difference of two perfect squares, then here we have 10 squared minus square root of 99 raised to the power of 2. So here we have the square root of 100 multiplied by 10 plus square root of 99 divided by 10 squared, this is 100 minus square root of 99 raised to the power of 2. This means we eliminate the square root sign. So this is 100 minus 99. So we have the square root of 100 multiplied by 10 plus square root of 99. Everything here divided by 100 minus 99, which is 1. The next step is that we have the square root of 100 into the parenthesis. This is 10 plus square root of 99. Now we have the square root of 100 times 10 plus square root of 99. This is in the form of square root of A times B, which you can express as the square root of A multiplied by square root of B. Applying this property, then we have the square root of 100 multiplied by square root of 10 plus square root of 99. Square root of 100, this is equal to 10 multiplied by square root of 10 plus square root of 99. Now, we have that the square root of 10 plus square root of 99, we have that 1 is common here. So we factor out 1, and in this case, we can express 1, this is the same thing as 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is the same thing as 1. Now, this means we have 10 multiplied by square root of 2 over 2, multiplied by 10 plus square root of 99. So now here we have 10 multiplying by square root of, in the numerator here, we have 2 multiplying by 10 plus square root of 99. Everything here divided by 2. So now here we have 10 multiplying by square root of 2 times 10, this is 20, plus, now here we have 2 times now the square root of 99, this is the same thing as the square root of 9 times 11. Everything here divided by 2. So this implies that here we have 10 multiplied by square root of, this is 20 plus 2 multiplied by square root of 9. This is the same thing as 3, then multiplied by square root of 11. Everything here divided by 2. The next step is that we have 10 
multiplying by square root of now we can express 20 this is the same thing as 9 plus 11 10 plus 2 multiplying by 3 multiplying by square root of 11 everything here divided by 2 now this is 10 multiplying by square root of we can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2 plus 11 plus 2 times 3 times square root of 11 over 2. The next step from here, we have 10 multiplied by square root of, we can express 11. 11 is the same thing as square root of 11 raised to the power of 2. 11 is the same thing as square root of 11 raised to the power of 2. This is in the form of square root of a raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as a. So this implies we have 3 to the power of 2 plus square root of 11 raised to the power of 2. Then plus 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by square root of 11. Everything here divided by 2. The next step from here, 3 squared plus square root of 11 to the power of 2 plus 2 times 3 times square root of 11. This is in the form of a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. This can be expressed as a plus b raised to the power of 2. So this means that here we have 10 multiplied by square root of 3 plus square root of 11 raised to the power of 2 everything here divided by 2 the next step is that the square root of 3 plus square root of 11 to the power of 2 over 2 this is in the form of square root of a over b which we can express as square root of a divided by square root of b so this means that here we have 10 multiplied by square root of 3 plus square root of 11 raised to the power of 2. Everything here divided by square root of 2. So in the numerator, we can eliminate the square root sign here so that we have 10 multiplied by 3 plus square root of 11. Everything here by 2. Now the next step is to rationalize the denominator here. Let's multiply by square root of 2 and the numerator with the square root of 2. So square root of 2 times square root of 2 here, this is in the form of square root of a times square root of a. This is equal to a. So this means that square root of 2 times square root of 2, this is equal to 2. So here we have 10 multiplied by, this is 3 plus square root of 11, multiplied by square root of 2, everything here divided by 2. So let's simplify here, 10 divided by 2, this is equal to 5. So we have 5 multiplied by square root of 2 into the parentheses, this is the same thing as square root of 11 plus 3 so in this case we have that square root of 2 times square root of 11 this is in the form of square root of a times square root of b which you can express as square root of a times b now applying this property here we'll have 5 then square root of 2 times 11 then plus here we have 5 times 3 this is 15 square root of 2 and this implies that here we have 5 square root of 22 then plus 15 square root of 2 now <coughs>
this is the solution to this math problem. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.